Hi, my name is Prasad Muralidharan. I am with Cisco TAC Firepower Team. In this video, we will be discussing regarding configuration of stacking on Cisco Firepower 8000 series appliances. By stacking devices, you can combine the resources of identically configured devices to increase the amount of traffic inspected. One device is designated as primary and all other devices are designated as secondary. The sensing interfaces of the primary device is connected to the network that we would like to monitor. All the secondary devices will be used to provide additional resources to the primary device to increase its capability. This table shows you the supported devices and how they can be stacked. For an 8140 stack, you need to configure one 8140 as primary and one 8140 as secondary. Please note, the 8140 model chassis is similar to the chassis of 8120 and 8130 models, but the stacking capability is only available on 8140 model. To configure an 8260 stack, you need to configure one 8250 as primary and one 8250 as secondary. For an 8270 stack, you need to configure one 8250 as primary and two 8250s as secondary. For an 8290 stack, you need to configure one 8250 as primary and three 8250s as secondary. For a 8360 stack, you need to configure one 8350 as primary and one 8350 as secondary. For a 8370 stack, you need to configure one 8350 as primary and two 8350s as secondary. For a 8390 stack, you need to configure one 8350 as primary and three 8350s as secondary. You can notice the stack number does not change for 8140 stack, unlike the 8200 series and 8300 series. There are a few prerequisites that we need to meet before configuring the stack. We need to ensure all the devices that we plan to add to stack should have the same hardware. They should be running the same exact software and have the same exact licenses. We also need to ensure that all the devices should have the same access control policy and the NAT policy applied to them. All the devices that we plan to add it to stack should be registered to the Firesight Management Center. Now let's take a quick look at the configuration from the Firesight Management Center. On the Firesight Management Center you need to navigate to Devices, Device Management. It should take you to the page where it should list you the devices that are already registered on the device. Here we have two devices registered to the Firesight Management Center. You can see both the devices are running the same exact software version, version 6.0. They are same hardware model, 8250. They hold the same set of licenses, protection and control. And we have mapped the same access policy to them. To validate if the device has a stacking module, we can edit the specific device and verify if the device holds the stacking module. We can validate the same on the other device that we are adding it to the stack. We can see this device also holds a stacking module. We need to ensure both these stacking modules are connected to each other in order to uh, bind these devices as stack. Now let's create an 8250 stack by adding one 8250 device as primary and another 8250 device as secondary. You can click add and add stack. Now you can select the device that you want to be primary. You can mention the name for the stack. Once we mention the name, we can click add in order to add the secondary devices. Here we have only one secondary device. We can select the specific slots on the primary and secondary with the stack connection and we can select the secondary device and click add. So similarly you can add multiple other devices. On version 6.0 you should see multiple pop-up notifications appear indicating the status of the configuration. We can click OK and we can monitor the progress of the deployment in order to see where the deployment is. We can notice that the deployment 
is in progress to the device. It should take a few minutes to complete. Yeah, now it's complete. We can see that the 8250 stack is built with two 8250 devices, one as primary and one as secondary. We can edit this in order to view the complete information about the stack. You can also go on to devices and edit individual device properties here. So the stack is built and ready. If you want to break the stack, you can go to device management page and then on the stack, you can click on the chain link in order to break this particular stack. With this, we complete the stack configuration. Thank you.